Hey, hello and welcome back. So in here, let's finish up with uh, creating our uh, clean URLs. So, so far so good. But if I load my index page right now, you see that uh, images on posts are still not uh, showing, right? Let's go to our profile here and see if there's a difference. Uh, okay, so that's profile.php, but if I change the text in there and just put profile like that, you will see that uh, it's actually working in the post.php there. So this tells me that uh, the problem is not really with the post.php there or these files here. The problem should be still with the link. So let's go to our text editor here and let's open post.php. And let's see, try to see what's going on. So the issue here is probably root. So let me copy root and just somewhere where there's some PHP tags, I'm just going to echo it, uh, maybe echo it there and put a semicolon so that I can see what exactly is going on. So let me go back to the index page where I was which is right there and refresh the page. So now you see that it's HTTP localhost and then there's um, my book. So that, that seems fine. But then let me go to my uh, profile. Let me remove the .php at the end. And you will notice one thing here. In here, what's actually happening is that uh, these things have a slash at the very end there but they didn't have this on the other side. So this is what's causing the problem, the link to the things. So what I will do is I will go to router or uh, where did we put our root? So first of all, there's a file. Where is router? There we go. So at this point, uh, router, where is this? Where is root? So this is where we're creating root, right? So here we removed that router.php, okay? So what I want us to do here is to remove this inside part here. Let's move one step uh, away and let's just do root so that we can process it a bit further and do that. And then here I'll just put root Now, I want to do one more thing to this. I want to just trim whatever uh, slash is at the very end, right? So here I will put trim like so, and then closing bracket over there, trim. Now trim usually will trim as uh, white spaces at the beginning on and at the end, but instead here, I want to put a comma and specify exactly what character I want to trim, and this is the slash like so. So once I do that, it should mean this shouldn't work anywhere else, anywhere actually at the moment. So let me refresh this and you will see that all the images have indeed disappeared. So now what we can do, the advantage of doing this is that if the slash is found, it's removed. If it's not there, nothing changes. So this is okay. But then what I can do is I can say root and then concatenate the item there like that so that every time I know there's one slash there and not more than that. So let me refresh. And as you can see, everything is now working fine. So let me go back to my index.php. Now I've put .php at the beginning. So let me put without .php there. And there we go. We have a liftoff. Okay, so things seem to be working, but I bet if I try to like an item let me let me try that oh it actually works but if let's say for example i go to a uh, post like this one now because there are several things at the end there if i did click like uh, i don't think it will actually work here or well, maybe it might No, not really. It's not working. So here, where we have Ajax here that is supposed to work, what we will do is right inside post.php, uh, where is the like thing? 
So just look for wherever there's um, wherever there's source. And I think we did already do that. So where are we looking for? So now what I'm looking for is anywhere where there's a link. So for example, href here. So let me find all the hrefs here. So there's edit, there's uh, that. So let's try and see what we can do about that. So let me just start from the beginning here, from the very top, so I don't miss anything. Click there. And then href, there's root there, so we are good to go. Href here has root, so I'll remove this. Copy. Next. So like here, there's like.php, right? So at this point, I will put root there, paste. But it seems uh, this is not the correct uh, way to do it. So href is equal to there we go. So we need this to be an actual PHP function, so a PHP uh, variable. So what I will do is href is equal to. I will step out of it. Wait a minute. Let's see the outer thing. Oh, that's because this is not PHP. So I will do this and put an equal sign and then do that and remove the dot like so. Actually, I can. Yeah, actually, that works out. Let me remove that. Okay, so like.php and so on. So let's go next. Uh, same thing. So if I just copy this one here, I can put that there. So this is only the first step. So here, because there's uh, actually there's uh, there's an echo already. So what I can do is snap out of it and do that. Okay, that's how we connect those two strings. Same thing should uh, probably be done here. So that doesn't seem to work. So out of it, full stop, root dot like that okay so that seems to be fine same thing with uh, likes.php let me put that there it's already inside an echo so all i need to do is get out of this and do it from outside okay so i think so far so good this is fine the only thing is now we need to change the URLs like to remove the .php ID is equal to whatever that is. Okay. So now what I will do is search for all PHP with the question mark like that. So I'll start with this one. So it's going to be profile and then we will do that, put a slash and then echo out whatever that uh, part is here. Uh, yeah, so it starts from there to there. So that it's profile slash user ID like that. So let's do the same here. We'll do that. Now you don't need to say type is equal to post like here. And then ID is equal to the ID. All you have to do is uh, delete the type like that. Wait a minute. It will be post like so. And then ID is equal to like that. And then we put the ID there. Okay. So same thing here. Let's put our slash and then remove the ID. 
okay so more going keep going slash remove the id is equal to something here okay so let's keep going some more there so be careful not to delete the actual uh, the actual variable there okay i think uh, that does it so let's come back here and see how posts are faring Okay, so far it looks like uh, nothing has changed. Let me try and click here. Now the problem is, uh, like for example, for like.php, this thing was looking for an ID and a type very explicitly. So it's going to look for that when I click here. So I bet if I do this, it's not going to show that it has actually worked. So we're going to do that in the next video.